Yo, what is going on guys? Today in this video I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of the Bandicam watermark. This is going to be on Windows Movie Maker. This is going to be the way I'm going to get rid of that annoying Bandicam watermark that trashes every single one of your videos when you try to record it. Go up top to Project. you got to make sure it's under 4x3 instead of widescreen. If it's 4x3, you're going to have a great time. If you're widescreen, you should just punch a hole through your computer right now because it's not going to work. 4x3, you're having a good time. Widescreen, punch a hole through your computer. You good? Alrighty. It's on the project up top. Got a little reminder up there for you. You like that? Yeah? Alrighty. So, um, once you got that, you're uh, ready to go get rid of this watermark. So, uh, you can see you go to caption. You're like, oh, what's he, what's he doing with the caption? I'm going to go type in A guys. So, once you have A guys in there, you got to go make sure it's uh, extra thick like lots of C's like uh, like so many C's like extra thick the thickest you could possibly do it and you can change it to whatever color you want you're like what do you do with this drag it over top of the bandy cam watermark up top and this will cover it up it will never be seen you'll see what your, your caption instead of that make, you can make them 30 seconds long but um, after the 30 seconds you can put another one in you could run it your whole video the same thing or you could switch it up but um, it says start time on there. For the start time of the second one, you want it to be the closest to the to the ending of the first one as possible. Like I had 3.10 as mine. That works completely because 0.10 of a second, that's nothing. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys learned a lot. And I hope you guys produce some fire videos once you get rid of that bandy trash watermark. Thank you guys for watching. Woohoo! Oh yeah, boys.